بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحل الاقذى من لساني يفكو قولي اللهم اول فيو ود اسلامي جريتنجز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May peace, blessings and mercy upon my Chia Allah be on all of you. It's a pleasure to be back once again in Jeddah amongst the people of Jeddah. The topic of this evening's talk is Dawa or Destruction. What is the meaning of the word Dawa? I'm sure most of us may be, me, may be knowing the word, the meaning of the word Dawat. The moment you hear the word Dawat, immediately you start thinking of a lunch party or a dinner party. <coughs> Dawat does not mean a lunch party or a dinner party. It means an invitation. Today, we will not be talking about an invitation to a lunch party or a dinner party, but we will be talking about Dawat al-Islam, the invitation to Islam, to the Deen al-Haq, the region of truth. An invitation can only be given to an outsider. Therefore, the moment you speak to a person who is not within the fold of Islam and you talk about Islam to him, it's called as Dawat al-Islam. So Dawa can only be done to a non-Muslim. I start my talk by quoting a verse of the Holy Quran from Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 110, which says, Kuntum khaira ummat nukhridat linnaas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that only Muslims, ye are the best of people evolved for mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us Muslim an honor. He's calling us, Kuntum khaira ummatin. Oh, ye are the best of people evolved for mankind. Whenever there is an honor, it is always followed up with a responsibility. For example, in a school, the principal has got more honor than the vice principal. The vice principal has got more honor than the teacher. And the teacher has got more honor than the clerk. But along with the honor, it is always followed up with a responsibility. In the same way, the principal has got more responsibility than the vice principal. The vice principal has got more responsibility than the teacher. And the teacher has got more responsibility than the clerk. So when Allah says in the Holy Quran, Kuntum khaira ummat nukhridat linnas, that oh ye are the best of people, he was for mankind. When Allah is giving us such an honor, don't you think it is followed up with a responsibility? The responsibility is said in the same words. It says, Ta'miruna bil ma'arufi wa tadhauna al munkar. That we enjoy what is good, and we forbid and we forbid what is wrong. But Billah. And we believe in Allah. Allah calls us Kuntum Khaira Ummatin, the best of people, because we enjoy what is good and we forbid what is wrong. If we don't enjoy what is good and we don't forbid what is wrong, then we are not Kuntum Khaira Ummatin. We are not fit to be called Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the honor because it's a compulsory duty for every Muslim to enjoy what is good and to forbid what is wrong. The moment we see a person doing evil, we should ask him to stop it and enjoin the people 